Stay tomorrow. Those um, Russian cosmonauts are coming in. Ah, have a good sleep, Master. I am going out. Going out? Where? I have a date. Captain Healy is going to pick me up in front of the public library. No, now wait a minute. We've been, we've been all through this before. You, you can't go out with Captain Healy. He's turning his wolf suit. <laughs> I mean, he wants to marry you. I know. Yeah, well, he can't. Why not? I am single. Yeah, well, you've been single for two thousand years. Well, that is just it. I do not wish to be an old maid. Uh, Jimmy, I, I, I can't let you do this to my best friend. Uh, I, he's only read Omar I am. You used to sit in his tent and drink wine with him. Well, I would not be going out with your best friend if I was married to his best friend. Yes. Ginny, we've been through that, too. Oh, there would be many advantages to being married to me, Master. For instance... Uh, what, are <laughs> what, what, what are you trying to prove? <laughs> Well, this is the biggest advantage of all. When you are old, I will still look like this, and you will not have to chase young girls. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeannie, I'm aware of the fringe benefits, but I'm not ready to get married yet. Oh, very well. I have waited for 2,000 years. I suppose I can wait a while longer. Well, sure you can. In the meantime, you won't go out with Captain Healy, right? If it will make you happy. And if you promise not to go out with other girls. Right. What do you mean, no other girls? I'm a bachelor. Of course Goodbye, I'll go out. Master. You got a deal. In that case. <laughs> Good night, Master. If I did marry her, how'd I ever get in that bottle? Jeannie, she vanished in the thin air again. Well, I don't know what I can do, Raj. I see her once and it disappears. A woman just can't vanish into a puff of smoke. <laughs> Your good women logic will get you nowhere. Well, I'm telling you, I, I, I gotta find her. I'm going crazy. You, you see this? Look at that. Isn't that... Hey, that's a lot of carrots. I was gonna put it on her finger last night. But what does she do? She stands me up in front of the public library. <laughs> I want my advice to forget her. I don't want your advice. I want Jeannie. Gentlemen. General. The Russian cosmonauts are with Dr. Bellows now. They'll join us in a moment. And the State Department has invited Major Spavznovsky and Tiomkin here as a gesture of goodwill. They'll be staying at my hotel for two days. You gentlemen will be their hosts and entertain them. Uh, what type of entertainment would you suggest, sir? Their stay will be brief. But we'd like them to leave impressed with the flavor and the majesty of our great country. So keep them away from the Watusi Festival and the strip joints. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. Morning, sir. Colonel. Captain Nelson, Captain Healy. Major Tiomkin and Major Pavnovsky. How do you do? Pretty 
Privet. Thank you. Captain Healy and Captain Nelson will do everything to make your stay a pleasant one. Captain Healy, you'll be in charge of Major Povznovsky. Captain Nelson, Major Tiamkin. My pleasure, Major. Mine, too. I think it's about time for our tour around the base, don't you think so, Dr. Bellows? The newspaper photographers are waiting outside. Right this way. Uh, the press has been yeah, swarming all the rest for an interview with you, Count Whatever happens to you. Captain, I'm a very direct person. From the moment I see you, I say, this cat is for me. Cat? <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Well, uh, Major Chumpkin, I think. Sonia, big daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry I have to leave you alone tonight, Jeannie. Oh, I understand. You have this Major Tiomkin to take care of. Yes, yes, I certainly do. I would only be in the way. You, uh, you might, you know. Uh, we'll probably spend the evening discussing aerodynamics and playing chess. Well, I will stay home and watch television. It is more fun than a flying carpet. Uh, good, good. to a evening of chess. <laughs> Master, yeah. what does this Major Tiomkin look like? Um, you know, all eyebrows, heavy set, average Russian. <laughs> Something like this? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, uh, he has a little more hair than that. Uh, <laughs> uh, he doesn't have a beard. Does he look like this? Well, he's getting close, but uh, his physique is a little different. Like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's more like it, all right. <laughs> uh, Jeannie, please, I can explain everything. Well, there's nothing to explain. You have broken your promise. No, I didn't break my promise. General Barkley broke my promise. He ordered me to, to take Play out... Play chess? Huh? Oh, which one of you will make the first move? <laughs> he gets his orders from the State Department. Now, try to understand why I have to take out Sonia. Oh! And Major Jumpkin. Of course, Master. And please try to understand why I must go out with Captain Healy. Th that's different. Good night, Master. You're being childish. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's, uh, that's General Barkley. At least get back in the bottle until he's gone. Please. Well, very well. I would not want you in trouble. Thanks. Now, this is not General Barkley. I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave you in there until you cool off. I'll let you out in two or three days. Would you cut that out, huh? Oh, hi, Raj. Ready for the hands across the sea bit? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you better grab a raincoat. Uh, Cocoa Beach is about to have some California weather. Oh, all right. Oh, boy, I tell you, you sure you don't have Jeannie's phone number around here someplace? You know, on my way here, I even stopped by the library hoping she'd be there. I got a fighter going right on my mind. Raj, you have a little black book with names from Abigail to Zelda. Forget about you. I can't forget her. I'm going to find her if I have to spend the rest of my life standing in front of the public library, Raj. Well, if you got the girl, you're in a hurry. Yeah. It was wonderful night, Tony. I wish it could go on forever. <laughs> we shake this cube, Poznowski, and then we really kick it around yet? No, sorry. Oh, sly dog. What? Give me hour, and then we scooby dooby at my pad, eh? <laughs> Why don't you come in? We'll have drink. Yes, Sonia. Thank you, gentlemen, for an interesting evening. Good night. 
Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have to be running along, too. What's the rush? Uh, well, I have to look in on this friend of mine. Uh, when I left uh, this friend earlier in the evening, he was uh, rather upset. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Captain Nelson. <laughs> You have American cigarette? Uh, American cigarette? Uh. Oh, it's beautiful bottle. That's it's in my raincoat, but that's not my bottle. It's very unusual. You really like it? Hmm. Yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait till I show this to my friends in Russia. You Americans are very generous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better be going. I have to drop in at the library. I'm looking for a friend and... Uh... Marvelous. I'm very sleepy myself. It's been such a long day. Jeannie's number. Forget it. You remember when you used to write phone numbers on the wall beside the kitchen phone? Well, that's new wallpaper there, and I think we could we could rip it all off. You can't see? rip any wallpaper down. I lost a bottle. A bottle? A bottle. That's funny. I found one tonight. Huh? You, you what? Yeah, it was about it was about this high, right out of Antiquesville. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Out of my raincoat pocket. <sighs> right. You're a lifesaver. Hand it over. Too late. Sonia liked it, so I gave it to her. You what? Is there anything wrong with that? Was there anything wrong with that? That bottle's in the hands of the Russians. Whoever has that bottle can rule the world. is the memory I take back to Russia. I won't forget tonight myself. Good 
evening. Good evening, Major Tiamkin. I have tomorrow's itinerary here for you. Captain Nelson, you still here? Uh, oh, yes, yes. I was just leaving, sir. But, Captain Nelson, you've just come back. Just come back? Where were you? Uh, sir, oh, I had to look in on a, a sick friend. As a matter of fact, I'd better go and see how this friend of mine's doing right now. Oh, please. We still have so much to talk about. <laughs> Well, no, I'd really better be running. Uh, this friend of mine could kick out quite a fuss. But the evening is just beginning. My bottle. You're taking my bottle. Well, you took her bottle? Uh, no, sir, no, sir. Uh, Captain Healy gave it to her. It's really my bottle. Oh, well, if it's yours, I consider it even more precious gift. Oh, well, it's not exactly a gift. Give her back the bottle, Captain. I can't, sir. We'll honestly. buy you another one. <laughs> Sonia, I'd love to give you the bottle, but you see it's an heirloom. It's been in the family for generations. Oh, you do not come back to see Sonia. You come back for bottle. No. Well, no. if that's how Americans treat their guests, keep it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Get her back the bottle! Yes, sir. Our government would consider it an honor if you would keep the bottle. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Believe me, it wouldn't. I'm not... I'm sorry, I'm get the bottle back. Captain Nelson, I'd like a word with you. Yeah, yeah. Good night, Major. The important thing is, Sonia. Major. This way! Capitalist. <laughs> They warned me about American work. You are my new mistress, master. Oh, my new master, mistress. Oh, it talks. I am at your command. You may have anything you wish. I wish I don't drink so much vodka. Who are you? I am your genie. Whoever has the bottle commands me. It's a practical joke. It is true. <laughs> I can grant you any wish. Any wish. Captain Nelson, kick General Barclay. Oh, no, Master. You would not want to do that. Can you do it? Well, of course I can. Do but... it. Oh, forgive me, ex-master. Yes, sir. Well, Doctor, you can understand. <laughs> you kicked a general? No, no, I didn't, sir. Well, I, I, I know it looked like I did, but I, you see this, this uh, foot at the end of the leg. You see, I haven't been able to, to uh, control it since I walked in space. <laughs> he did it. Just so I'm sure, make him kick Dr. Bellows. Oh, I'm sorry, ex-master. I was just... <laughs> well, there goes that foot again. <laughs> Dr. Bellows? I want you to give this man a complete examination tomorrow. And if there's nothing wrong with him, he's mine. All mine. But, sir, I... I... Good night, Captain. Good night, sir. Uh, oh, uh, doctor, I'm sure there's an explanation. Uh, Sonia, hey, Sonia, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Sonia. Hey, uh, let me in, huh? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you $100 for the bottle. Uh, Sonia, uh, let me in. You can do anything? Major. Oh, boy, are we in business? <laughs> yes, thank you. What do you mean she's on her way to the airport? Major Champion wasn't scheduled to leave until the night. Uh, Sergeant, why wasn't I informed about this change in plans? Huh? All right, all right never mind. Jeannie, wherever you are, if you can do any moonlighting, Grant me this one last favor. Get me to the airport on time. <laughs> Sir? Now, Captain, you and I are going to have a nice, long talk. Could we talk a little later, sir? I'm on my way to the airport. You're on your way to a court-martial. Unless I have your full cooperation. Now, let's start at the beginning. As you know, Captain, I've had you under observation for several months. I'll only be an hour, sir. I'll be right back. Today, you've had hallucinations, you've heard voices, and now you seem to have a bottle fetish. For all these things, you've had dubious explanations. Half an hour. But there is no explanation for striking a fellow officer. 
No, I know that, sir. I... That is the ultimate in irrational behavior. I know that, sir. <laughs> Bless you. Better watch that foot, Doctor. <laughs> Berlin. Is it taking off yet? There she goes. Ross, the Russians have the bottle. <laughs> Roger, will you forget about Jeannie? And I, I mean, just consider her gone. <sighs> no. I mean, really gone, for good. There's somebody at the door. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Yes, miss. Sonia? Formerly Sonia Tjamkin. Now Betsy Ross. <laughs> Betsy Ross? Yes. This bottle made me what I always wanted to be. Wealthy American. Ah, I think I understand. Well, well, welcome aboard, Betsy. I, I, I can guess why you're here. You have everything you want, and you want to return the bottle, right? Yes, it's true. I have Willa on the Riviera, a mansion in Beverly Hills. My chauffeur's waiting outside in my Rolls Royce. That's not everything I want. Yeah, well, what else is there? You. Well, me? I make a deal. You marry me, I give you bottle. Uh, mar marry you? Well, well, I, I can't marry you. I mean, uh, well, I want Jeannie back desperately, but well, I'm afraid marriage is out of the question. Too bad. You mean Battle could have had the world? Yeah, uh, please. Uh, <laughs> please, uh, may I say goodbye to Jeannie? Why not? But no tricks. All right, no tricks. <laughs> Ex-master, darling, I thought I would never see you again. I, I thought I'd never see you again either, Jeannie. There's so much I want to say. Oh, there's so much I want to hear. Um, uh, Betsy, uh, Sonia, may I uh, speak to Jeannie alone, please? All right. But I keep Battle here. Hurry it up. I want her to tell me who wins Daily Double at Hialeah tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible, Jeannie. Oh, and I'm going to miss you, Master. I never realized just how much I'd miss you until this happened. You would like me to stay? Of course I would. You mean you could? If she frees me. Uh, you heard what she said. She's not going to free you. And I can't marry her, Jeannie. If you want to keep me, you must. Sonia, I've changed my mind. If you haven't changed yours, I'll marry you. Darling, I'm going to make you very happy. <laughs> Fly to Mexico. We'll be married before sunup. Oh, wonderful! And we can leave that there? Anything you say, darling. Oh. <laughs> She finds out she's married to Phony Tony. Oh, why you <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Darling? <laughs> as long as I have the real one. 